for aiming a lot of people ask how do i know which eye to aim with should i keep both eyes open do i need to close an eye how do i figure everything out so what i'm going to teach you today is i'm going to teach you the eye dominance test and that's going to tell you which eye is the more dominant eye that will want to take over um, I'm not going to tell you which way to shoot. Um, that's a lot of personal preference and there's different coaches that believe different things. Some coaches think you're better off your hand dominance. Other coaches will believe that you are better off your eye dominance. And I think a lot of it does come down to personal preference and how you feel more comfortable and your reaction time, how your brain focuses on the target. So I'm just here to show you what your eye dominance is and to give you some suggestions. So that way, when you go out to the archery field, you know how it all works and what your eyes are doing when you're aiming at the target. So to find your eye dominance, this is what I would teach my archers. Um, there's a couple different methods you can use. I pick one method in particular. I just like using it. It's easy for me to see the archer and I can tell really easily which dominance they are. So what I would tell my archers to do is make a small circle with your hand. If you make it too big, it'll come back to your whole face. So it won't work very well. So make it really small. So when you come back, you're only seeing out of one eye and you're going to lay your circle up on the yellow. So you're going to have your hands all the way out to the target, just like this. And you're gonna keep both eyes open and you're gonna look through your circle and stare at the yellow. As you're staring at the yellow, both eyes open, slowly bring your hands back to your eye. It's gonna come all the way back to your eye, all the way until you touch your face and you're gonna be looking out of one eye, okay? The eye that you're looking out of, this is called your dominant eye. So let me show you. I'm gonna do an example so you can see. So I'm gonna use the um, play button on my camera here as my reference point. I'm gonna place my circle up. I'm looking with both eyes open through my circle at my target here. And I'm gonna come all the way back to my eye. And as you can see, it comes back to my left eye. So I am left eye dominant. You already know your hand dominance and now you've just learned your eye dominance. So based off those two things, you could be one of four types of archers. The first archer is you are right handed and you are right eye dominant. If this is you, no matter what, I would suggest to you that you're gonna be a better shooter um, as a right handed archer, which means you're gonna stand this way and as you pull back, you're gonna pull back with the right arm. When you aim, because you are right hand and right eye dominant, you can actually keep both eyes open, which is nice. It's always best to keep both eyes open if you are able to aim that way. The next archer, second archer, is you are left handed, left eye dominant. So if that is you, then I would suggest to you, you're gonna stand the opposite direction and pull back with the left hand. Great news for you also. Um, if it works for you, you can actually keep both eyes open when you're focusing and aiming on your target. Then we have group number three. This is what I am. I am right-handed, but every time I do my test, I am a left eye dominant. So I am right-handed, but left eye dominant. So it gets a little bit trickier for me. What I tell my archers, I teach all beginner classes. I teach my archers that they have two options when they go out to shoot. One is they can shoot right-handed. So when they set up, they pull back with the right hand and they feel more comfortable because naturally this is more comfortable for them. They do everything on their right side. They feel more coordinated on this side. But then I tell them, but however, when you go to aim, if you keep both eyes open, that left eye that is your dominant eye will want to take over the shot and it will want to do the aiming for you. Okay, so it's gonna wanna take over and when that happens, unfortunately, it plays tricks on your eyes at how you're looking down at the target. It'll make you shoot off to the left side. So if you're gonna choose to do this way, if you're right-handed but a left eye dominant archer, there is a good chance, not 100%, but there's a great, great chance that because this eye is gonna do all, trying to take over the left eye, you're gonna need to close it and make your right eye your dominant aiming eye when you're shooting. So you're gonna set up, pull back, close that left eye, and now that right eye can focus and do all the aiming. The other option is you could actually have the archer if they wanted to try. Some love this and some choose not to do this. It's personal preference. Turn around, set up, and pull back with the left side. So become a left-handed archer. And what's nice about it is that your left eye that's dominant can do all the aiming. So you're aiming with your dominant eye now. The drawback of it, especially if you're just coming out and shooting recreationally once or twice, is that it's gonna feel 
not natural on the first time. Even just loading the arrow might be a little bit tricky for you. So that might take some time getting used to just the form and feeling strength on that left side because you're not used to it. Um, so my recommendation is maybe try both out. I actually started right-handed um, when I was nine years old and all the way up until my 20s, I shot right-handed and I always closed an eye so I could focus with my right eye. There are coaches um, that say you can train your right eye to become your dominant eye. I never personally learned how to train my eye. Um, I, it was just something I never did. Um, so I just always closed an eye when I shot. In my 20s, my score started to plateau. So my coach and I decided, why don't I try the left hand and just see if it kind of helps with my reaction time, the way my brain works and how I'm looking at the target and see if I like that. Um, so I actually flipped my body around and I shot left-handed. I actually loved it. It actually worked really well with aiming for me. Everything just kind of fell into place. It was really unnatural for the first two weeks. I was missing the target all the time. It was, I didn't have any strength on this side because I had spent all my, my years getting all my strength on the right side. Um, so it took some time getting used to, but once I did it, I actually really enjoy shooting left hand now. So those are, that's an option for you. Archer number four, uh, left-handed but right eye dominant. This is the least common archer. I get one or two randomly here and there in my classes, but if that's you, you kind of have the same options. You can set up left hand because naturally this is gonna be more comfortable for you. Coordination-wise, it'll be easy, but because your right eye is dominant, you're gonna wanna close the right eye because if you're shooting left hand, you want your left eye to be the dominant aiming eye. Or you can flip your body around and go right-handed, and when you pull back, then you can aim with that dominant right eye. So those are the four archers that we have. Okay, so you're gonna be one of four of those. And for you, you're gonna to have to decide, first off, you're gonna to have to see which archer you are. And then from there, you have to decide which archer do I want to be. I always recommend to people to try both and see because some people, they might not think, like let's say they're right-handed, left eye dominant, and they might feel like they would never be able to shoot left. And then once they get a bow in their hand, oh my goodness, their groups just tighten up really well and it all works out really good for them. Um, and then some, it's the opposite for their hand dominance. They're really strong on that hand dominant side and all they just need to do is close that eye and that works even better for them. So it's really a personal preference thing and I wouldn't ever tell anyone like, don't try this, don't try that. I would definitely say um, if you are cross dominant to give both, give both a shot. Mm -hmm.